Hello, uh, YouTube, and ho ho ho, it is Christmas time. I'm Domino, and welcome to episode 73 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished up the Alola League, becoming the champion, and came back here to home. If you do want to check that out, make sure you click the icon up at the top of the screen. It was a very, very great ending to the main story of the game. In today's episode, as I just kind of alluded to, we're going to be going on to the post story. So if you're excited for more Ultra Moon, make sure you hit the like button down below and do subscribe if you want to become a member of the domination of the Pokemon community. Oh, anyway, it has been about a week since I've played this game at all. So let's start off with a quick tape recap so I can reacquaint myself with the squad. Uh, first up, we have Brock, our uh, level 56 Alolan Golem with Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, Thunderbolt, and Stone Edge holding the Hard Stone to power up those Rock type moves. Then we have Frisco, our level 56 Oracorio with Air Slash, Revelation Dance, Teeter Dance, and Hurricane holding the Sharp Beak to power up those Flying type moves. Next up is Buttons, our level 57 Decidueye with Leaf Blade, Energy Ball, Spirit Shackle, and Brave Bird. Going the Decidium Z to smack people up with that Sinister Arrow Raid, I think is what it's called. We have Aru Kenimon, our the Hex Goddess herself, level 56 Araquanid with Leech Life, Scald, Poison Jab, and Crunch. Going the Waterium Z, because the Water Z move is one of the best. I don't know. Next up, we have Oblivion, our level 56 Komo'o, with Dragon Claw, Sky Uppercut, Poison Jab, and Clanging Scales. Going the Leftovers, because he's already bulky. And lastly, we have the guy that's on the shirt, our level 56 Fruit Punch, our Weavile, with Ice Punch, Poison Jab, Slash, and Punish Ent. That's our squad. Now, I had said in the last episode that I was going to do some dexing. I didn't do that. I took a break from the game because I had been recording it every free moment I had. But you didn't know that, did you? Because the episodes keep on coming out. So... Um, there are two things that we're going to do before we continue on with the story. Like I said, my first goal is to get the story done. And then we're going to dex and do all this stuff. Actually, wait. There's three things. Three things that we need to do before we head off to meeting um, Ultra Recon. The first one of them involves... We're just going to grab on Tauros because we have a long way to go. Um, the first one involves... Something that can't actually, the first two, no, technically all three of them are things that have come to my attention that I haven't paid too much attention to. It has come to my attention, but I haven't paid too much attention. Some things. First one, if you remember when we were fighting, when we were doing um, Mina's Trial. Illuma said something about how training here on Mahalo Trail. Well, I don't know what all happens. I know the first thing that happens when I walk through here. Why is Lily and Lunala? Why are they here? What are you doing? Domino! I've been, I've been waiting to thank you for saving Nevi that day. Mahina P. Nevi, you came here from very far away, didn't you? I'm glad I could take you with me, that we got to experience that journey together. Domino, I know this may be sudden, but I hope you will consider what I ask of you. I want to entrust Nebi to you. I think Nebi should be with Necrozma. From what I heard, Necrozma should not suffer as much or ache for the so- Whoa. The Krasma would not suffer as much or ache so for the light if it remains close to Nebi. And I think it would be best if they both stayed together with you, Domino. I've thought a lot about it, and that's what I decided. So, please, I want you to face Nebi as only a trainer can. And I want you to give it a ball to call home. Oh, crap. I have to catch it? Okay, so Lunala is a uh, ghost psychic. Actually, Brock might be the best person for it. Go psychic, go psychic, go psychic. I could kill it. This thing was like, I was supposed to do this, or not supposed to, but I had access to this. Like. I had access to this right after the eighth trial. 
I just did not, I had no idea it was here. Oh, you are level 60. Okay, well, that's good. Night days, what does that do? Ouch. To summarize what it does, um, ouch. No paralyze. Right. Been a while since I've played. Have been streaming. Uh, it's been taking up some time. Been preparing for the next. Um, trying to figure out what we're doing next. I have an idea. I definitely have an idea. Defense and special defense row. So I'm just going to hit you with another thunder punch. Moon Geist Beam. I should probably be concerned. But I just have a feeling that I'm going to live with one. Definitely going to use next ball. Uh, next Pokemon. Now, I don't, I honestly don't anticipate this to be too difficult to catch. Ghost resist bug. Psychic, okay, so in my head, this makes sense. This thing just weakened me so that it could kill me. I have to get items. Uh. Hax Goddess. Hax Goddess! Oh, it did nothing. I really needed that to do a little bit. I really wasn't. I, I didn't expect to have to battle Nebby. Like I said, I had seen this. But I looked away as soon- Oh! I don't think Nebby will kill me. Let's see what happens. I don't think Nebby will kill me. I'm pretty sure if I throw a ball, it'll just get caught. I haven't done this in a minute. Hit him with that water vortex. Hydro vortex. Throw all the water at it. Just like splash some water up on it. That kind of went about how I thought it would. Give or take. I mean, that was kind of what I was expecting. Um, if I use Crunch, it'll probably kill. Hey, you have two. You won't. You won't die. Actually, I'm gonna die to this. Four times effective. What? Oh, okay. That's four times effective. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess because you have two cosmic powers up. But on stream, I've been playing through. Uh, been playing some uh, Pokemon Showdown, and uh, you can say I'm. You can say I'm pretty good. You can say I know my stuff. All right, Lunala, you don't stay in this ball. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those. Got it. The type is Moon Guy Speed. It's psychic, right? We have Moon Blast. Moon Blast will hurt Umbreon. Oh, I don't have Umbreon anymore. Moon Blast will destroy this. The Ghost type. Maybe Fruit Punch can take a hit or two? I'm not going to use my Master Ball on this thing. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Come on, stay in the ball, 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 stay in the ball. Ah! Moon Blast, that's going to hurt. No, that's going to kill, isn't it? I'm gonna go for another Ultra Ball, because I kind of expect a lot of- Oh, I don't have any revives! Okay, if Nebby doesn't stay in the ball, before I challenge it again, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more- I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep- Yes! You know what? Oh, 
have your own page! Oh, Lunala! Look at that, I like it! Ooh! Nice! Okay, so here's what I'm deciding. Do I just name it Nebby? Yeah, I have to name it. I'm, I'm, I'm... Just, just, just call me whatever you want to call me, okay? Send to a box. Goodbye, Nebby. What? Lunala, no, Nebby. Nebby, you belong with Domino now. He'll be the one to raise you. It's like any parent should raise their child. He would be your father now. That's awkward. Nebby, you have brought your light to everyone, and... I know that you'll be able to keep everyone smiling and happy, Domino. Thank you for taking care of Nebby for me. Nebby, I'm gonna become stronger. I swear I will. Now it'll be your turn to watch over me as I grow, okay? Please watch me. And this, Domino. Nebby was holding it. Please use it with care. Lunalium Z. What did I pick up off the ground? Now, let's go, Domino. Where? Where'd she go? I am not going that way because I am not ready. Where did Lily go? Hold on. I thought Lily was going to Aether Paradise. That's why I didn't go look for her. I love Iki Town music. Can I just throw that out there? I love Iki Town music. Alright, well, let's continue on. We ain't got time to wait for to figure out where Lily went. Um, the next thing is, like, super minor, but uh, it's a side quest. And we are going to do all the side quests after we finish the main story. Um, which could take us a little while. I really don't know just yet. I, I don't. I haven't seen everything. Uh, so I don't know how involved it is. Whoa! Why is there an Incineroar here? That's so cool. This is to, uh, to Rudo, the pro wrestler Incineroar. He's been in a slump lately, though. Want to hear about it? Yeah. Until recently, Teguro here was Tegrudo here was undefeated. The place was always jam-packed to the rafters for his matches. But now he's been losing to an up-and-coming pro wrestler Machamp. It looks like Tegrudo is starting to lose his mojo. Look at Incineroar! He's so cool! If only he had the TM for acrobatics, maybe he'd stand a chance against the fighting type Machamp. Would you look at that? You've got the TM for acrobatics right there, don't you? You can use the TM as many times as you want, so would you use it on Tegrudo? I mean, you don't have to give him to me. Look at how cool he looks! Oh my gosh, this is not what I originally saw. I'm thinking an Ultra Sun. There's a, The Machamp is here, so it's flipped. And that Machamp gets... No, it's not, because the Machamp had an issue with something else and it needed a berry of some kind. Is that just like daytime and nighttime? Here, let me give you something to say thanks. I got a power bell. That's right. Time to practice until he perfects acrobatics. It'll be a beauty. Okay, Incineroar is by far the coolest starter in this generation. And don't freaking... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh. That just reminded me. You know what? Rotom just reminded me something that was useful. I needed him to remind me because I was not going to come in here and buy items. Because I am trying to... I am trying to look like Kamo'o. But I'm not trying to die in what we do next. Also, there's... What was the th oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the thing. First ever champion in Alola. Thanks for coming here. Looks like your island challenge will continue even after becoming the champion. We're happy to keep you... Supporting you. How can I help our champion today? That's that's a really cool. Alright, I'm gonna go with 20 of these. Because I'll soon be able to uh, start just looping the Elite Four. Um, I'll be able to start looping the Elite Four. Now Rodan can be Okay, the last thing that I want to do before we continue on is gonna happen on up here. Wait. I thought I just flew the Pokemon League. Why did that say Mount Lanakila? Oh, just kidding. I just confused myself. Okay. I have been avoiding a certain spoiler for so long. And in my showdown random battles, 
It's coming up again. So I need to grab Boy Pole. Alright, I'm gonna grab Boy Pole for just a second. And the reason I came up here is because I want to teach Poi Po a certain move. And this is the Pokemon we learn it. Yes. Which Pokemon is it? I want to reteach Poi Po a certain move. How we would ever have known that this thing could learn Dragon Pu or Dra uh, Dragon Pulse is beyond me. We're gonna get rid of Charm because. Who uses Charm? Okay, we learned Dragon Pulse. I have to give her a Heart Scale. I assume I have one. Do I have a Heart Scale? How many Heart Scales do I have? Now I'm curious. Where are the Heart Scales? Okay, here. I feel like they should be there. Uh, go Heart Scale, Heart Scale, Heart Scale. Heart Scale! Also, is my audio? Okay, good. Right before I started recording, for the first time, OBS was actually being really weird to me. Look at that. Heart scale. I have five of them. Thank you, Pelago! Which I had not kept up with. Okay, so now I need to raise him a level. Um, and I guess I'll do so... So I gotta raise him a level real quick. But yeah, I've been playing Showdown Random Battles and it's been super fun. I've said it a couple times, I do want to learn, um, I do want to learn competitive. Um, I do want to learn competitive Pokemon. And I think after playing random battles on stream for a couple days, I definitely want to. Wait, what? I'm bulletproof, which means I am not affected by... Hold on. This is a learning moment for me. I have to learn... Ball and bomb moves. So, I know sound, or the other one, uh, soundproof is the better of the two. I know that much. I don't know if a sand shrew is going to give me experience. I don't know what I was just... Um, I don't know if Poi Pole would have been able to run away from it, but... I just want to get this taken care of here, and then... I guess in the next episode we'll head off um, to continue our story, but... This is... I just... Ugh. You know, if you're watching this video, you know what's going to happen. That gave me no experience. Where's the rare candy? Where's the rare candy? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's it. It's that quick. I'm done. Where's the rare candy? I have ten. Let's go. Let's go. Don't even care. Once learn toxic. Actually, what does venom drench do? Yes. Venom drenches. Garbage! Poipo learned toxic. Oh my god! Poipo is evolving! I didn't know Pokemon evolved. Okay, anyway. I didn't know Ultra Beasts evolved. And then I... Oh. I've been waiting so long to actually be able to look at this thing and look at its freaking name. Naganatal? 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 Bro, he is so freaking cool! Yo! He is so freaking cool! I'm assuming he's Dragon- I did know Poi Poi Ball because of this page. Anyway, maybe that was the- when I- anyway. Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay. Poison Dragon. That's literally an answer to fairy types. I've heard this thing is broken. But like, I've had to cover up the screen when it's in random battles. One kind of Ultra Beast. 
It fires a glowing venomous liquid from its needles. This liquid is also adhe immensely adhesive. Bro, this thing is freaking cool. What do you want to learn? Air cutter? Okay. Um, kind of like the moves I have. I mean... Look at my special attack. Holy cow! Special attack is amazing. I'm not going to learn air cutter. I won't be using this one for a competitive event. Ah, keep holding this. This thing is really cool. Poison Dragon. So it would be weak to ground and psychic ice. I think that's it. Well, ground, psychic, ice, and dragon. Naganadal. Naganadal. I gotta figure out how, how to actually say it. Let me look at this. He's so cool. He's so cool. All right. Um. Let's go ahead and fly over to the fourth island. Today we just saw all four islands. Let's go. Let's go. We are gonna wrap up the episode here. I'm just gonna deposit Naganado into the PC. Um. Pick up our Weavile again. And now that I've finally seen that Pokemon, I've seen all but one. All but the one I have not seen. I have not gotten hardly any spoilers except for like an outline, like a silhouette of it. And like, you know, the glance, like, my eyes are still in spoiler mode, so when I see it, my eyes blur out and keep going. I don't know anything about it. Please don't spoil it in the comments for me. I'm, I don't know if it's in this game or what, but anyway, we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. It unintentionally turned into a side quest filled episode. I apologize for that. In the next episode, we are going to be heading off to meet up with Ultra Recon so we can continue on the story. If you wound up enjoying this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. It really does help out so much. If you want to become a member of the growing domination, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We'll see you for the next Ultra Moon episode. Until then, have a blessed day.